What is up everybody your boy is back again with another video and today's one we will be discussing tricks and methodologies you can use for creating rough sketches especially in digital medium whether it's photoshop krita gimp paint tool sai you just name it you can use this method for creating sketches for your basic concept arts as well as your illustrations so before starting off with the video i just wanted to say that this video revolves around my method of sketching how i do it personally so it's not a universal method on top of that this video won't include on the fundamentals of how to draw i've already covered a little bit on that subject but this will only include methods that i use personally for sketching so yeah with that out of the way let's get started so starting off with creating your sketch first thing you need is to choose the right brush for your sketching process well in our case we are making a sketch for either the early phase of an illustration or a concept art whatever it is and since we are using it for that purpose we will be using mainly four brushes the first one is a pencil brush which itself is a textured version of a precision sensitive soft round brush that's what it is the second brush we are using is a soft air brush sort of marker and we will be using it to highlight our shadows and lighting and at last we are using one soft eraser and a hard eraser so the reason i'm using two erasers on the same time is something we will be discussing later on in this video so yeah stay tuned so yeah that is it these are the four brushes we will be using the reason behind that is that these brushes are pretty versatile you can just change the opacity as well as the size of these brushes and you can get varied outcomes and results and on top of that no matter what software you're using you can easily use and access these brushes in the default brushes panel since we have our brushes kind of sorted out of the way now we can make our basic shapes fundamental shapes like squares and circles using rough lines and you actually have to do this until and unless you have something you are very confident to work with in my case i mostly start with drawing the chest area and only if i am comfortable with the way the chest is looking i move on to creating my legs and then my head if my chest isn't looking good i will i'll be experimenting with different positions until and unless i have a basic structure for my chest it's way better to quickly know that your chest area or whatever the focus of your drawing is is correct rather than actually knowing it later on when you are just further deep down in your sketch it will just save you a lot of time now while you're drawing the foundation of your figure make sure that you're consistently flipping or basically mirroring the canvas it will basically help you to figure out all the proportions of your art pieces what is working what's not working if there is a limb or basically a leg which is pretty much distorted or if there is a whole portion of your image which is distorted you can easily figure it out by just mirroring the image so let us assume just in case you end up with a distorted looking sketch what do you have to do the first thing you have to do is you can simply select that area which is messed up using a free hand selection tool which is in krita i'm pretty sure there is a awesome alternative in photoshop as well i just forgot the name but it is there i definitely remember it and with this area selected you can go into the transformation tool you can edit the size the proportion and even the perspective now coming to our two erasers the first one which is the soft eraser is used for erasing minor overlaps of lines nothing very special whereas major mistakes are mostly erased by your hard one the hard eraser but in general if you just want to use one eraser i will recommend to go with the softer one the reason behind that is the hard eraser just erases a lot of details most of the necessary line details so i just simply don't recommend it if you want to use a hard eraser you just use it in the line art phase it is much more effective over there but in sketching just use a soft one but if you want to create a concept you want to make your shadows much more lively what you can do is you can add a little bit of shading and for that you can make another layer separate layer and you can use the soft marker brush for making your shadows for the darker areas you actually don't have to make it refined or anything because obviously you're making sketch sketches are not supposed to be refined so yeah you can get away with that and in fact If you're going for that clean illustration kind of look, you can completely ignore this. You can just shade it using grayscale properly, using soft brushes and all the kind of stuff. So, yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you create a basic sketch whether it's for a game character, whether it's for a for a concept art, for an illustration, doesn't matter. Well, personally, I use this for my concept arts, for my character designs. Obviously what I drew over here is Kratos from God of War so it's not my original design so it was much more easier to draw it with this method but in general it will be a lot more difficult with more trials and errors while you're making your character or your sketch if you're interested in more stuff like this you can comment down your comments and suggestions 
you can like if you like the video you can subscribe if you want to subscribe to this video you can turn on the notifications so that you don't miss anything whenever i upload a new video and yeah i'll see you guys next time until then peace